Yeah, well, I, I come across um, a YouTube channel. Um, I have to get link. Uh, I was, I mean, I'm not um, gay, but I was just curious about the New York in the 80s when Penny Make was about there. And I come across this video called After the Parade, now the Gay Pride Parade 1983. And this is YouTube channel dedicated to this, um, this abbreviated name, his full name, something else, but it's, it's Nelson Sullivan. And you could say he was kind of a pioneer of a vlogger. You know, capturing the moment on the streets, his life, uh, filming himself as he's walking on the streets while he's going to a coffee bar, and he seemed such a very polite young gentleman, and he packed his job up in the age 39, I think. Well, he packed his job up not long before he died. At the age of 41, of a heart attack. July the 4th, 1989. Is when he died, age 41. And there's a Wikipedia page to him. He was quite chummy with RuPaul. Yeah, so... There's this one YouTube page which I'll link in the thread in which it's all his archive videos that he shot on his handy cam or whatever he used. Looks like some of his videos were shot in a concealed packaging because like had a like a circular that lens shape, it wasn't like the whole thing, just like a circle, like a um, fish eye. So it looks like a maybe like a little handy or something, but there's one YouTube account which is devoted to uh, the late Nelson Sullivan. No, he was an early pioneer of the vlogger, capturing, you know, the village, probably Manhattan, New York in the early 80s up to when he passed away on July the 3rd, no, July the 4th, 1989, age 41. And his, his final videos on there, it looks well. And he goes for a walk with his dog called uh, Blackout. Yeah, there's a dog called Blackout, and there's a barbecue run in the backyard. Um, so, I'm fascinated by this Nelson Sullivan. How I've come across it, I've no idea, but it must be in the, in the search periphery, you know, the search results. But I'll post a link, uh, you know, check it out. He's, long, he's no longer with us, but... Interesting. Yeah, so... I've been watching some more of his videos. It's like some of us. I mean, I've never been to New York. <clears throat> never been to America at all. Um, but he seems to uh, be one of the early pioneers of this. This is what I'm doing now. What people make now, well, some people make a living out of. They get. I think they call them influencers. Although I'm not one of them. You know, people do cookery and beauty tips and all this, and they're so popular that they're followed by the manufacturers to give them, you know, endorse their products. But his was like a, a personal his own personal experiences of him living his life. Um, meeting with friends, just documenting every day 
stuff, whether it be gay pride uh, and earlier or plumbing down at the uh, dilapidated pier when Sea Train was still an active company for the Mafia drained it of money. There's one, one clip where there's this big Sea Train freighter going past these shots. It's, it's a fascinating insight into how New York was. The, the streets, the, the harsh reality of the streets, no uh, beautify stuff. This is, you know, proper reality TV, but his own. I think he wants. I think his dream or hope was to have his own cable show. I mean, that was his dream, was to have a cable show on a, you know, cable channel show um, showing his videos that he shot over the years that's why apparently he quit his job um, unfortunately uh, as it has happened to you know, quite a lot of people um, fate had a hand in a different direction which was he died of a heart attack on July the 4th, 1989, which I've said in part 1 or 2, at the age of 41. Um, and a lot of people commented that his, 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 the five, five Ninth Avenue Project channel on YouTube is like a time capsule to the New York that they remember and love. And that uh, it would have been... I'm not sure the comment was posted, but it would have, it would have been into his 70s now. It would have, it would have been into his 70s now, but as we know, that uh, that wasn't to be. It will always be 41. Um, so I stumbled across his channel. It come in the results. Uh, never knew of him before, or the YouTube channel, Five Ninth Avenue Project. But whatever persuasion you are, is what you do in the bedroom department. It, it is a fascinating channel. But for everybody. You know, it's kind of one of these people who should be genuine. He loved, he, he was doing it for, now it's coming practice, but brilliant.